Hi everyone, I'm excited to share with you another custom die that I designed with AccuCut Craft Custom Shape Pros. And I wanted to design a butterfly die. Um, I wanted to create a butterfly from the side. I had taken this picture of this butterfly at the Butterfly Habitat at Marine World several years ago. And I've always loved that vision of a butterfly from the side view. And so this is what I created here. I created two albums. This is using the King Company's Botanical Collection and this is Creative Imagination's Devotion Collection. Both collections had some really beautiful butterflies on them and I'm really happy with how it turned out so thank you so much um, Paige. And so let me share with you first, um, I created one with pictures so you guys can see what it looks like with pictures and then one without. This is actually the die right here. It's a two set die. Um, this is the other one right here. And so this right here, as you can see, is the cover. And these pieces right here, they pop out. And then you can see the crease lines on the wing as well as the body. And then it has a pre-punched hole on the top. And then here's the antenna. I designed it to where it's separate um, because I wanted to give myself the option to either put a stamen or some pearls. But the way I had Paige design it was I had a curve on the bottom here, the same shape as the head. So if I were to hot glue it down, it fits perfectly onto the head. And then there's this piece right here, which is the solid piece. And then I also designed it to where the body, I can at least fit in 3 by 5 photo down here. And then there's this wing right here, which is the other die, which is this piece. So basically I have two ways I can create my album. I can use this as my cover, and then I would take five of these and it would look like this. Or I can take five of these and use this as my cover, just like what I did to those two albums. And then it looks like that. So let me share with you um, the albums that I made with this die. And I'll have um, some of these die cuts available on my blog. Um, if you're interested in creating this album, it's really fun. So this one's the Devotion Collection, and so you kind of get an idea what it looks like with photos. I added a one inch binding ring, some extra large eyelet, and some seam binding. And then as you can see here, I add the stamen on the head. So thank you again, Jen, for these black stamen. They were perfect. And then a black bling for the eye. And then I add another bling for the other side of the eye. And then this is of Ashley's kindergarten graduation. Her um, dress went perfect with this collection because it had red. And then I add some of this beautiful flower from Bev. And then some recollections bling. And then the coordinating die cuts from the collection. And then I cut out some of the butterflies from the design paper. And I was able to fit a lot of my um, favorite envelopes as my pockets. Here's one of her, Ariana. And I use a lot of Iron Roses flowers. There's another page. It's just a little file right here. It's really fun. So lots of broom on the bottom of the wing. And this is just a die cut from the collection. And see, this is a 3x5 photo. So it fit really nicely on the bottom. And then I layered this photo in one of the envelopes. And this piece right here, this is um, from the cover. Pieces that pop out. So basically what I did was I covered um, the entire thing first with design paper, then I added dimensionals underneath it, then I placed it on top of this page, and then I just slowly started popping them out. And as you can see, it's, it's perfectly as if it were on the wing. And then I added the coordinating butterfly die cuts on top of that. And I love the way it looks. It's really neat. And here's another page. With an, this is the petal card envelope. And I add another file. Some more of the coordinating die cut pieces and I'm Rose's flowers. It's another die cut. I can put a tag in here. Really fun. Really happy with um, how it came out. And I'm, I'm going to, I have to order some of the Pink Paisley Butterfly Garden 
12 by 12 design papers um, because my local craft store only has a few of the pages and I need the whole set. So I'm going to make an album with that collection so look out for that um, album. And then this one is the King Company one. Really beautiful. I use a lot of the coordinating um, embellishments from this collection. So with this one I added some I'm Roses flowers to the wing and then some bling on it and I like the way it looked and I add the stamen on this one too. And there's the other side of that. Again I add some of the my favorite pocket envelopes and again some iron roses flowers and the coordinating embellishments from this collection. Lots of embellishments from this collection. I love this one. These flowers right here. It's pretty. And see this die cut's really large. It's fit perfectly onto the wing. This was perfect. Um, Bev's purple flower here. Really pretty. And this actually is from Tim Coffey's collection. And I'll put all the information down below. Really fun. It's another one of those cute paper rosette flowers. And this is a pocket, so I could put a tag in here. Some more of the adhesive dimensional stickers. And look how large this die cut is. It's about the same size. It's really nice. Another frame. Stick a photo inside. Really pretty. And so this is my die. I really love it. Thank you again, um, Paige. And Custom Shape Pros, really super fun to create. And again, I'll have um, these die cuts available on my blog, and I'll have the link down below. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.